Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture. My name is Dino. It's on creating a sitemap. Um, basically, the focus of this will be to show you three different ways to create a sitemap. The first method is lists. What is a list? It uses an a, a either ordered or unordered list that uses nesting for hierarchy. Basically, you would have like major parts of this site and then and then you would tab in or indent parts that are below it to show the hierarchy. So the, the first thing that's furthest left that's not indented is highest level of hierarchy. What, something that's indented once, next level. Another, another uh, indent is at a lower level. The positives of this is that you, you can communicate page topics via the keywords that are up top of each section of the list. as well as relative hierarchy again through the indenting, etc. And you can communicate whether something is of a higher, lower, or the same level of provenance. Another positive is that you can communicate page inventory really easily. You can see on the on this basic list what's there. Uh, some of the negatives: um, one is to communicating user paths between pages, uh, just because it's a, it's a bare knuckles, bare bones uh, list. There's not a lot of pathways. There's no pathways shown. And then finally, communicating navigation around a site is also complicated because again, it's just a list. There's no other connecting things like like um, arrows, etc. The next one is horizontal diagram. It's uh, it has a very common nature. It's the most familiar form of what sitemap. It has a high level view, like like lists. It shows a high level view of the site, so you can see like the major uh, parts of a site. Paths are a positive that are not unlike uh, lists. It shows paths between pages of experiences, you know, normally via by arrows between different sections and pages and experiences. Also, in terms of hierarchy, uh, various paths can communicate hierarchy and navigation. You know, higher level to the left is higher a higher hierarchy, lower and to the right lower hierarchy. And then one of the negatives is that there's no comprehensive inventory of site normally for these of site pages um, because you're getting more of a uh, you're looking more at flow. Finally, vertical diagram. Uh, basically, uh, if you see a uh, horizontal diagram, just basically tip it on its side. That's a vertical diagram. The very best use for a vertical diagram is to map contain experiences like a specific user flow or structure of a specific area of the site. Um, they seem to be better for that. That was creating a sitemap. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Dino. Please feel free to like uh, like this video. Please feel free to comment about uh, these different methods of creating a site. Do you use them? Are there other ones you might use? Uh, how do you get the most of site mapping? Pi finally, please feel free to um, please feel free to uh, subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.